it's me Nat and today I'm going to be showing you how I make my videos. Throughout every single video that I've filmed so far has been with natural light um, apart from maybe the one odd or two where I've actually used my bedroom light but every single video I do has been using natural light. But it was only until the other day where I actually purchased some studio lights. The lights I use are soloed by energy from a plug, so you just plug them in, their leads are nice and long as well, so you don't have to have the light right up to your face. Um, they also come with these covers so that you don't get any reflection of the light bulb, which is really handy. And it does make you look like you're in the day, which is great. Um, I was actually during the day when I filmed this video, it was just I needed a bit more light because it was quite a dull day and I'm also under a ceiling which is slanted which means there isn't as good light so these lights are really really handy. The tripod I use is just this Prisma one, I got it from a charity shop so it cost me I think £5 which is so cheap, it extends really big and it just keeps my camera nice and steady and it means I can sit in front of the camera as opposed to having to always hold it. I was filming this video with the Nikon Kruplex L830 which is an affordable but great camera and the Canon EOS 1100D I sometimes use. I prefer to use it for photos though because its photo quality is amazing but video quality is still amazing, it just doesn't have autofocus which gets on my nerves a lot of the time when you're filming fast animals. So yes, I use either camera and they're both really good, I really like both of them. So I do my thumbnails on PicMonkey, I just go to custom and then I do in the YouTube thumbnail size. I then get some screenshots from my video which is how I do it, I just have this blank canvas and then I'll just go into my, I'll just put it, go to that little butterfly and do my own and then I'll stick some random pictures when these are just how to make pastry but I just enlarge in those and then I'll add another one, usually I do about four pictures but I'm just doing two for this example. And then I will stick a little label on and for this example I am using a label and I'm using the little round one. I'll then make it a nice bright colour so that it is very evident and I will fade it slightly just so I can add text on. I then add a text on, um, I'll write whatever, this is how to make pastry and I will change the font and the main thing I will usually put in a bolder font just so it stands out again and this is what I've done for this. So that's just what I do, I save it to my desktop and that's how I make my thumbnail. I go over to a video and click custom thumbnail and I'll put that on. Um, that was just the one I did in the past but this is the one that I just did now and that is just uploading but obviously I'm going to cancel that because that wasn't for that video. I'll show you how to schedule upload as well seeing as I often get asked this question. You just go to upload and then there should be a little arrow and it says scheduled and then you click on whatever your video you're uploading and then there's calendars and times which you can choose so that's just how you schedule upload and I often do this. I edit on Final Cut Pro, um, this is just this software you see here, this is what it looks like down below, it's just got a little colourful film thing. Um, this editor is only for Apple computers and it costs £300 from the Apple store which is really expensive but it is worth it. So it's a really good editor, it has loads of different buttons and functions as you can see. It may look really really confusing but it's not, once you get to use it it's really simple. Um, there's lots of things you can do like add text, add transitions, add music, you can add photos or you can add like effects on your video as well which I never really do um, because my videos wouldn't really suit that but I could make it black and white or add things to it yeah I don't really bother with those things I'm quite simple when I edit on it um, but as you can see this is my timeline so it's just what this looks like down below um, and this is just currently what you're watching so this is how much editing I've had to do I've had to cut and select clips from around here so you may, oh that's a different video but you'll be able to see all the clips here and I've had to select the exact moments that I want and then edit in here so that's just what I have been doing. I used to edit on iMovie and this is pretty simple, it's good, it's just very simple so if you just want something really basic to 
put some title in but still make it look good I really recommend iMovie this is just a video I did ages ago and as you can see I had some problems with clip troubles but yeah this is just a video I did with Coco and the Crazy Cavi but yeah I think they're both good editors I really recommend Final Cut Pro and that's just what I edit on thank you so so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more. I'll see you all next time. Bye!